Hey there guys, yesterday I live streamed my attempts on the Clash of Wills, a simulator of unknown origin. You can watch the replay of the very long live stream if you want to see the whole process of, you know, start to finish learning the fight. Um, that fight was done yesterday when we didn't really have the AI yet, and we didn't know what the boss does. It was, I basically went in there blind, figured it out, got rank one after a long time of practice and error, or trial and error. Now I have, we have the AI, I've played with the fight, I know it better. Now we're going to optimize that clear and make it very easy to copy if you have the new units. Big asterisk. Um, so we're going to go ahead and 300% uh, all modifier clear. And we're modifying the team from my previous run. We're dropping Kresnik and we're dropping Maeve. We're bringing Chow and Runda. That's going to make it a lot easier. The rest of the party is basically the same, and we'll go over the gear and the, the you know the way we're doing things um, afterwards. So let's go ahead here and get a clear, and I'll explain things a little bit better as we go. So phase one, the boss um, ambushes with the field. Now you'll notice up here, this is the enemy field. Every new phase, the boss puts up a new field you want to kind of get rid of if possible this one as you can see buffs his elemental damage that's actually not a big deal because the way we're gearing the party so we're going to start with sylvie doing a resist all buff and we're going to use earth element in phase one which is between 100 to 75 percent you need to hit the boss with earth damage every single turn um, we're going to use wilk to uh, imbue himself with earth ancestors presence to imperil and then just hit the boss. Kaito will do his LB on turn one. Actually, there's no reason to need to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's use his LB on turn one. We're gonna use Chow to cover True Guardian. Actually, we don't, we don't even need cover. We literally don't, we are, we are auto covering. So we're just gonna True Guardian, Most Loyal and Focused Inspiration. We're gonna use Runda to LB for 80% general mitt. And we're going to use um, Esther to bolting and fill her LB gauge. Okay, so there's going to be some Lacuna Breaths on turn one. With Chow and Runda on the party, the Lacuna Breaths are going to be no problem at all if he does any. Uh, we've got 80% magic and 80% general mitt on the party right now. So let's see if he does any Lacuna Breaths. They ignore cover. And he's not doing any anyway. Well, they wouldn't have been that bad if he had done it. We had a barrier and all that, but he didn't do it anyway. It's RNG. It didn't really matter. There is a mana drain, but as you can see, our counter child build um, doesn't care. Now, this is important, by the way. I'm going to show you the gearing the gearing in specific later, but notice how Chow is not immune to lightning. He's at 90% lightning resist, or more importantly, he's less than 100% lightning resist. We need him to counter. There was a ton of lightning damage that turn, and we want all the counters possible to fill the morale gauge because we are not using Kresnik. If we were using Kresnik, we wouldn't care. But we're not. Okay, by the way, Runda is our provoker, by the way. Alright, on this turn, we're going to go ahead and use Sylvie to use her Magnus. That's mostly just to get the morale fill. And then Compassionate and Paladin's resolve. Um, Wilk will go ahead and shift. We'll do cloud style hurricane fist. Kaito will... we don't have enough morale yet to do his big skills. So we'll just do um, torrential downpour and then destabilizing and deep submersion. Uh, Esther can use her LB and we'll just use Wilk. We're not really doing damage this turn. We're just like setting up. Runda can literally just hit the boss three times for morale gain. And Chow can... we'll go ahead and put up cover this turn. So we'll cover provoke and most loyal notice we are not provoking with chow we're never going to provoke with chow ever 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 the only reason we would we would want to potentially is because chow's provoke is 75 percent mitigation but we're using runda and runda gives 80 percent mitigation every single turn so not a big deal so this turn we're going to use runda's slb make sure you get runda's ex3 from story mode kind of important for the strategy sylvie will go ahead and we're going to shift this turn we're going to get ready for bursting on turn five so we're going to go ahead and do Marion's Blessing Earth, and then doesn't really matter what else, we'll just hit the boss a few times. Esther is going to use Bolting a few times, and we're going to use Quantum Storm 
on Runda to give him... No, actually, we don't even need that. What am, what am I doing? Never mind. We're going to use Bolting, Impact, whatever. We're not going to use her Magnus quite yet. Kaito, on this turn, is going to... Let me think for a second. Extreme, extreme, extreme. Extreme. Yeah, never mind. We're going to... Oh, I should I did this wrong. Whoops. No, it's fine. It's fine. So we're going to go ahead and Torrential Downpour, Deadly Stream, and... Whoops. We're going to Torrential, Deadly, and Natural Flux. Wilk, in this turn, will do his base form. And we're just going to hit the boss a few times to fill Morale Gauge. And Chow can just fill Morale Gauge. So we're just going to True, Most Loyal, and True to fill that Morale Gauge. You want to get that Morale nice and filled by turn... Um, by turn 5. This is the only tricky thing a little bit, is we're going to be having a little bit less morale gain on the early turns. Uh, we're not going to counter very much this turn. Maybe like one or two counters, but not many at all. So, yeah, most of the morale is going to be coming... Oof, kind of kind of, kind of sucked that turn. Oh, well. Alright, let's have Sylvia go back to the base form. We're going to just fill morale gain. So, I think this fills morale, doesn't it? It does. So, we're just going to Elemental, Elemental, and Resolve. Um, Arunda can hit the boss three times just to fill morale gauge. Chow can just fill morale gauge. And let's see, we're going to burst the next turn, so we're just going to fill morale with Wilk. This turn, we're going to calm and then fill morale. Kaito will, let's see, um, we don't really need anything from Kaito, so we're just going to natural, deadly, and torrential. Yep, okay, the morale gauge is filled. There we go. And remember, we are imbued with Earth, so we're hitting with the boss of Earth every turn. And because we didn't use an LB that turn, the boss doesn't have a defense buff. Also, notice right here, because Chow is taking very tiny damage, there's the Lacuna Breath, as you can see, very low down. We have 85% general mid at this point, so no problem at all. Now we're going to burst on turn 5. As you know from using Chow, turn 5 is the gap in his uptime for Focused Inspiration. It doesn't really matter if we have Sylvia in the party, but, you know, there you go. So we're going to be here for just a moment as we counterattack our way. And you might be wondering about these counterattacks, like, oh no, we're coming to the zombie phase pretty soon. Chow's going to kill our party with counterattacks. Not the case. As I overlooked in my day one clear, you can cure a zombie from the morale bar. It is a complete non-issue. I was freaking out about zombie. Never noticed you can cure it with the morale bar. Zombie is not a problem in the least on this fight. Very, very totally fine. Chow is... Chow is no issue here, other than counterattacking too many times. Come on, Chow. Get a move on. All right, let's go ahead and do our damage here. So we're going to Esther LB. We're going to use Kaito to LB. We're also going to use Sylvie to shift, and we're going to Leaping Love to um, Modifier Boost. Wilk is going to Vengeance, and we're going to Triple Bolting with Runda to chain with our Wilk. Let's go ahead and do some attack and magic buff. And we can go ahead and do our damage. And we're looking for 2.5 or better. Okay. It's actually kind of nice that we didn't push the, the, the Asta phase yet. But oh well. We're going to cover and just put up morale skills. So damage was... 3.0. Totally fine. Um, with the new units. There's the AoE death. It is important the whole party is death immune. I will be showing that in the gear section. Anyway, so we're still in phase one. Now, I just for sake of easiness, I'd prefer to not push the Asta phase yet. Um, so we're going to use Runda to... You know what? We're going to push the Asta phase. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So we're going to calm and we're going to double bolting. We're just going to push that Asta phase. Let's get into it. So the we need to use Earth damage every turn. Um, so we're going to imbue the party with Earth. Uh, and then we will... Let's go to the base form. Let's imbue the... Yeah, it really doesn't matter what turn we do this. So let's, let's imbue the party with Earth and do some immunity buffs. Uh, let's go to the base form with Wilk. You know, we don't even need to. We can stay over here because Wilk does have his LB ready. Or his skills ready. So we're going to triple... Um, we're going to triple bolting. We're going to triple bolting. And we're going to triple bolting. And actually, Taikaito is going to refresh the good breaks. So we're going to do downpour, 
Deadly Stream and Natural Flux to keep those good debuffs active on the boss. And let's go ahead and attack and magic buff. Now this is going to deal very low damage right here because the boss does have a defense buff right now. Um, I, I, just, I just wanted to start the next phase. That's all I really wanted. So there we go. So Chow is going to go ahead and um, just repeat, literally. Okay, so now the boss is going to do his Asta thing. He's going to swap phases. Now he's going to do Zombie in two more turns. Now Immortal Frame is a really big deal. This is a 500% attack and magic buff. you got to get rid of that. But that's not really a problem. So Immortal Frame, yeah. It's also a defense and spirit buff that you can't technically get rid of, but uh, Kaito can. The attack and magic buff is dispellable. Regular dispel will work. You can also use things like we're going to do with Sylvie, where we're going to get rid of it with not so fast. Um, we're also going to use, uh, because I want to get out of this phase quickly, we're going to use, okay, let, let, me, let me show you real quick. Okay, in the Asta phase, we've got to use um, lightning damage every turn. So we're going to imbue the party with lightning. We're going to go ahead and go over here to Sylvie, and we're going to use a big lightning imbue. Marion's Blessing. We're also going to not so fast get rid of the attack and magic buff. And then we'll do, um, let's do Poached Demon on Esther. Okay, so we're also going to use Kaito. So let me show you. So if you didn't have Kaito, the attack and magic buffs are gone, which is the important thing. But we're also going to get rid of the defense and spirit buff. Um, and we're going to deadly and whoops whoops come on Kaito come on bro all right we're gonna get rid of the defense and spirit buff we're going to deadly and we're going to natural flux I'm pretty sure we have the killers already we do so we'll do this all right Esther is gonna do her LB we're gonna use Wilk to go to the base form. And he's just going to refill himself. Uh, we need to do lightning in this phase. So we're going to Ancestors, we're going to Steady, and we're going to... We're not going to bother with Earth. And we're going to do this. Runda is going to chain with Sylvie. And we're going to do some damage. Let's go ahead and buff. And we'll do some damage here. There we go. Uh, the boss does not respond to LBs in Phase 2. So we're going to just cover Most Loyal, and we're going to do Focused Inspiration to put up a good um, magic mitigation for the party and himself. Okay, so uh, in two more turns, the boss is going to do, like I said, the zombie attack next turn. We're not going to get out of this phase before zombie happens. That's okay, though. That is totally okay. We're going to show you, because you can use the morale bar to cure the zombie gauge. Now make sure your party has a status immunity buff for this phase, because as you can see, we are status broken. Uh, there's Lacuna Breath, but with Runda's SLB up, like Lacuna Breath is so who cares. And some counterattacks. All right, so we're going to keep bursting. We're going to keep bursting to get out of this phase as quickly as we possibly can, because we don't want to deal with the zombie too much. And we are getting zombie next turn, but you'll see. It's, it's going to be fine. All right, so we're going to... Well, let's go to the base form with Sylvie. And let's do Leaping Love for Modifier Boost. And let's go ahead and do some Bursting here. Let's Burst with Extreme Nova on these two guys. So we're going to Extreme Nova the both of them. Um, and we're going to use Runda to Triple Bolting Strike with Esther. So we're going to Triple Bolting. And let's go ahead and do Attack and Magic Buff. Remember, we're still imbued with Thunder, which is how we're stealing the boss. We are hitting the boss with Thunder every single turn, which is very, very important. Okay, there we go. And then Chow can just put up um, Cover, Most Loyal, and True Guardian. So this turn is going to be Zombie. The thing is, on the Zombie turn, the boss only does one attack. So we're only going to counter at most one time with Chow. Also, we have the damage over time, as you saw there. But the damage, and this is a gravity attack, by the way. That's gravity. And here's Chow countering one time. The one counter on Kyle or Chow will hurt your party, but we're fine. So the whole party is zombied. As the first action after the zombie turn, we use Salving Will, as you can see, cures zombie. Zombie handled. 
Boom. No problem. All right, Sylvie will... We're going to Bolt Egg to re-imbue Lightning. We'll go back to the base form. So we're, we're cured. The zombie's gone. So we're going to Bolt Egg, Elemental, and Elemental. Go ahead and buff that up. And we're going to keep dealing damage. So we actually... Um, I messed up a little bit on Esther. I didn't uh, do her, her rotation properly. That is my mistake. Oh, well. Let's put up the Torrential Downpour, Deadly, and Natural on Kaito. And we'll go to the base form with Wilk. Um, and we'll do triple bolting. And we'll chain this. Do a little bit of damage on the boss. And as you can see, the boss doesn't gain that defense and spirit buff in phase two. As long as you keep hitting him with lightning every single turn. Let's do Runda's SLB for that good mitigation. And we'll deal damage here. Oh, I did something wrong apparently. Um, whoops. Oh well. Whatever. I don't, I'm not sure what I did wrong. Anyway, let's heal the party. So zombie's gone, let's heal the party, and then we'll just like buff up. So true and most loyal. I'm not sure why the chain broke all over the place. I definitely did something mistakenly. Oops, a daisy. Oh well, not a big deal. There's a the damage over time, but again, with the 85% mitigation from Runda, the damage over time is such a minor thing. And Runda's taking all the single target physical, and then Chow is covering all the magic. All right, let's go ahead and deal some damage here. So unfortunately, we don't have the good buff with Sylvie, which is a little bit sad, but nope, don't shift you. So we're going to do LB. We're going to do shift and LB. And we're going to do LB on Kaito. Unfortunately, I don't think we have Sylvie's buff right now. So this is going to be a little bit lower damage than we would have otherwise liked. That's okay. We can Demon Killer on Esther, and then we can um, do this. And this is probably going to push that next threshold. And we'll go to the Kairos phase. And the Kairos phase is normally super, super dangerous. And it definitely gave me the most problems during my stream yesterday. But uh, with this party, like the Kairos phase is totally a non-issue. Non because we have Runda. Big boy Runda is going to be rocking it up. We'll go ahead and just use this three times because whatever. I'm not sure why I did that, but whatever. Anyway, now we're going into the, the, um, the Kairos phase. So there is some damage over time. Which is, again, a little bit painful, but with Ronda's mitigations, it's totally fine. So we're going to guard Ronda this turn, because, again, the boss puts up a new field every time. And the boss's field is 50% physical damage, which we are not getting rid of just yet. So we're going to do some LB field. Now, on this phase, we've got to hit the boss with wind damage. Always wind damage every single turn. Notice on the first turn of the boss's phase, he absorbs wind. So he's going to absorb Wilk, but it goes away after the next turn and never comes back. So we're going to imbue Wind on Wilk, and then we're going to do Frenzy and whatever. So he's now Wind imbued to properly um, seal the boss. We're going to use Sylvie to go to the base form, and we'll just do... Um, we'll imbue Earth so we can deal actual damage. And then we'll do Elemental and Vines and Chow. The party is full health, yeah. So Chow can put up um, True most loyal, and we'll put up cover. And let's see, Esther will refill her LB gauge, and Kaito can, um, let's do natural, deadly, and torrential downpour. Kaito is so awesome here for getting all the, um, for keeping all the debuffs up all the time. All right, so because we hit the boss with wind damage, even though the boss absorbed it, it still counts. Because we hit him with wind damage, he, he lowered his buffs, which is really nice. Now, here's Ronda. The damage is mostly single target in this phase, plus the damage over time and some AoE attacks. But with Ronda's mitigation, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Okay, wait for this to finish. Let me check one thing real quick. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, still that. Um, so Runda's SLB for mitigation. Let's see. We're going to shift Wilk. And this time, we're just going to do Wilk's Magnus. We're going to use Kaito to triple Blade Storm. And Esther will... Oh, we can't Bunny Bolt. You're killing me, Esther. You're killing me. I guess we are going to do Great Wave Assault um, with Kaito. And then Wilk will do that. And then... Uh, we don't really need anything from Chow, so we can, like, just shift and, uh... 
do some bolting here. So we'll just bolt him three times with Chow on the shift form, and then Prosperous Light, because whatever. Uh, that way we can support chain. Anyway, Sylvie is going to... We want we want Mirage on this turn. So we're going to Paladin's Defense the party, Resolve, and Compassionate Knight. Okay. And let's go ahead and do... I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Barrier's fine. Um, we will Resilient Will, and we will Resurging... Resounding Will. Uh, notice the boss does still have buffs this turn, but they're going to go away next turn. So let's go ahead and just deal a little bit of damage here. This won't be a ton of damage, but it doesn't really matter. Next turn, the boss loses his defense and spirit boss, and they won't come back as long as we keep hitting him with wind. And we are hitting him with wind because of um, because of Kaito. There is an AoE physical attack that we miraged. Yeah, the second turn of the rotation, you've got to mirage it. Otherwise, um, it would deal a ton of damage, and we don't want that. Okay. So this fight is a little bit long, as you can see, but it's very, very safe and secure with Runda on the party. Runda is absolutely MVP here. So uh, I guess we're going to go to the base form with Esther and just deal some damage here. Let's have Wilk go to the base form, and we will... Um, we got our Ancestors. Let's go ahead and Earth Imbue Wilk for later and do this. We'll do this, we'll do this. Kaito will... Um, just refresh natural, deadly, and uh, the drown pour. Kaito is maintaining all those awesome buffs and debuffs. Um, back to the base form with Chow, where we will just do. Don't provoke, never provoke. Let's focus, let's true guardian, and let's most loyal. Um, Sylvie, let's see. Now, don't use Sylvie's Magnus in this phase. They, they remove imbues, and for obvious reasons, that would be a bad thing. So, we're gonna do this, this, and this. And Runda can just guard for um, survival. This turn is the third turn of the Kairos rotation is going to be a ton of single target physical, but um, Runda with guarding and 85% mitigations is like it's a joke. Also, we've got accuracy down on the boss, which is for obvious reasons a big deal. And then some attacks on Chow, which he will uh, counter and fill LB gauge and all that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and burst now. Now that all the defense buffs are gone on the boss and whatever, now the rotation starts over again. The 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 damage rotation of the boss. So we're going to rage of the dr dr what a something. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna use Sylvie to shift here, and we're gonna do our shifted LB to get a nice modifier boost for the limit burst that we're using. Let's go ahead and attack and magic buff. Chain these guys up. This may push the next phase. If so, great. If not, who cares? It did. Okay, that's nice. It doesn't really matter, but it's nice that it did. Let's cover Most Loyal and True Guardian. And Ronda can literally, who cares? Literally, who cares? Just guard. Okay, so in this next phase, the damage you want to deal is... Um, there's a fixed attack. This is the threshold. It's no big deal. Uh, this, this phase, you want to hit Thunder, then Earth... I'm sorry, Earth then Thunder, then Wind. Or, just to make things simple, just hit him with all the elements every turn. That makes it easy. So we're already imbued with all these, um, so we'll just do this. Uh, Kaito will put up his buffs. Esther will imbue that. Um, let's see, Sylvie will... Let's go to the base form with Sylvie. Let's do... Do a Thunder Imbue. Let's remove the boss's buffs and let's do a Paladin's Resolve. We can do an LB with Runda. Now the boss did do some damage on the threshold. Let's go ahead and Curage it twice and do a Barrier. We do have the, he the healing reduction at the moment, but Chow is a billion spirit, so it's totally fine. Okay, so this phase is very, very easy. So once again, Runda is provoking the single, Chow is covering the magic. Um, and that's basically it, you know. Now the boss rotates between his three phases. He rotates on one turn of the Morgana phase, which was phase one, then one turn of the Asta phase, which was phase two, and then does one turn of the Kairos phase, which is phase three. And he does skills from all of them, but they're significantly weaker than they were earlier in the fight. Now it is going to take us about two turns to get rid of these defense and spirit buffs, but as long as we're doing the proper element every turn, it's totally fine. It's like whatever. All right, some damage here, you know. 
get it, get it going, get it going. Come on, come on, game, come on, game. All right, so this turn we got to hit the boss with uh, lightning, but again, Esther's imbued, so that's fine. All right, Chow. Chow, please stop. Chow, please stop. I we don't need this morale anymore. That was only for the er early in the fight. All right. Um, let's see. So Kaito can do an LB. We can use an LB with Esther. Um, Wilk, we need to imbue wind. We don't have a source of wind. So even though I'd love to LB with Wilk this turn, we can't. So we're going to wind stance to imbue him, and we'll use his skills next turn. It's not a problem. But we got to hit the boss with wind. So there we go. Um, let's have Sylvie shift here. And let's do her shifted LB to buff some modifiers for the party. Um, let's see, we'll do some attack and magic buff. Now, we're still going to do low damage because the boss does have defense and spirit buff this turn. But uh, it goes down by two turns each. Um, so actually it'll still be there next turn as well, which actually is kind of sad. Uh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, you know, that's like, who cares? We'll just like protect Shell and just what, what literally whatever. Um, and then Shao can whatever too. Just who cares? Just make sure you maintain your um, your cover and all that, which we are. Also, you kind of want to win by turn 20, because starting on turn 20, the boss begins to gain a bunch of morale. And it, you can still win after turn 20 and get a perfect score, but it becomes harder to maintain your morale after the 20th turn. But as soon as the boss's defense and spirit buffs go away, like, we got this, so whatever. All right. Oh my god, the counters. Alright, um, let's see. So, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do an LB on you. And Esther can, uh, let's see. Esther will do bolting, bolting, bolting. Ronda will do a bunch of boltings. Let's see. Paladin and Sylvie go to the base form. Let's imbue the party with Earth. And then let's do Elemental and the other one. Um, we can do Attack and Math. I think this is the last turn of the boss's defense buff. It is. So we're going to start doing a lot more damage next turn. We can go ahead and burst this real quick. There we go. Next turn we'll do better. Um, let's have Chow cover and... Whoops, whoops, not double cover. Let's cover... Oh my god, you, you got to be kidding me. Cover, Most Loyal, and True Guardian. Okay, so this is the Asta turn coming up. It's physical damage. I mean, but we have, we have Runda's, um, Runda's, like, Runda's provoking. Like, I mean, the Kairos phase. And as you can see, Runda is tanking this like a boss. Runda makes this so easy, my god. Anyway, now the boss's defense and spirit buffs are gone, so now we can start doing some serious damage. And the counters, of course. Alright, Ronda will do his SLB. Let's go ahead and LBU. Let's LBU. We need to do breaks again. Let's do Downpour, Deadly, and Natural with Kaito. We gotta do that. Uh, Sylvie can shift this turn. And do her shifted LB, I think. Yes, do her shifted LB. For mod buffs and all that. Let's do attack and magic. Um, Alright. Let's do some damage here. This may or may not finish the boss off. Probably not. Probably one more turn. Yeah, one more turn. And then Chow can, like, who cares? Who cares? It's easy mode. It's whatever. Now, we are a little bit tight on the timer. Like I said, you want to win kind of by turn 20. Otherwise, I mean, the boss, the fight doesn't get any harder. But the boss starts gaining a lot of morale per turn after turn 20. Um, which you want to kind of, if you can, avoid that. So... So it is still a little tricky to fit all your damage in. Also, we could have probably, honestly, um, mm, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. All right, and that's it. We have successfully won. And we'll just go ahead and LB Wilk again. This is what I love about Wilk. His LB is not that big, meaning that we can just like keep LBing 
over it. We're going to LV with Esther again, too. You know that? We are. We're going to use Sylvie to refill Esther, or Chow will do it. Never mind. Chow got us. Okay, we don't even need Sylvie. Yeah, Chow, Chow filled up a 100 LV gauge Esther. Awesome. Come on, Sylvie. We got things to do, Sylvie. Or Chow. Chow's causing this problem right now. Okay, yeah, so we'll just like LB these guys again. We'll stick you in with an LB as well. We will attack and magic. And Sylvie will, um, let's go ahead and do a demon killer on Esther. And uh, I guess we can do a lightning imbue. And then we'll do, yeah, whatever. Um, anyhow, that's the end of the boss. And there it is. Rank 1 clear. Very, very safe and simple. Um, the damage requirement is still a little tight. Like I said, you want to win it within turn 20 turns. And maybe I could clean up those other phases earlier as well. But yeah, so just as a recap as far as the AI goes. Phase 1, which is 175%, you want to deal earth damage every single turn. Perfect score, rank 1. Here's the damage breakdown. Um... Yeah, the damage breakdown, because some units had, like, skipped their turns to rebuff and all, you can't really count that, but there it is. Um, so, phase one, you want to deal earth damage every turn. Phase two, which is 75 to 100, you want to deal lightning damage every single turn. It's very important you do that. Um, also, use the morale skill to cure a zombie. Phase three, which is 50 to 25%, you want to deal wind damage every turn. He's only going to absorb wind on the threshold turn. He will not absorb it again after that. So wind damage every turn. And then phase three, deal all three. Technically, you, all, you need to deal one per turn, depending on the turn. But just for convenience sake, deal all three every turn and not keep track of it. But if you want to keep track of it, it's earth, then lightning, then wind, then repeat in phase, in phase four. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let me show you the gear real quick. So this is uh, a lot a lot easier to build. Okay, so a, a few things. Well, if you have this stuff. I don't know. It's not that easy, I guess. Um, so Chow, full counter build, double orb, ciphers, and Lumen Wrath. And again, I always get these comments, what if I don't have this? Uh, as close as you can. Morale isn't that extreme of a problem. Um, so just the best counter build you can for Chow. Or bring like Kresnik and, and, and then, then morale is not a problem. Um, but I wanted to use Chow. Uh, now this is important. This is important. Notice how we are negative to unbuffed lightning and earth resist. We want to be in the negatives for lightning and earth. But only a tiny bit negative. That is because we're using a 200% Earth and a 200% lightning resist with, with Sylvie, and the boss does a 100 in peril. Meaning, after Sylvie's 200% buff with the boss's 100% in peril, we are still slightly vulnerable to lightning and earth damage. That way, we counter them. If you're immune to the damage, you will not counter it. You won't counter. Also, uh, we want. 50%, actually no, no, I'm sorry, he's never provoking, he needs no evasion at all, do not need evasion on Chow, but yeah, so we're getting the penalties to lightning and earth by putting Chow on Leviathan, Leviathan penalizes lightning and earth resist by, um, by 50 and, uh, by 50 and 25%, and then we, um, honestly we could have probably stayed at negative 50 and negative 25, but just to balance it out, I used a small resistance. So Cerebral Augmentation for 20 Lightning Resist and Judge's Oath for 20 to all. And that way we didn't, that way we're gaining 40 Lightning and 20 Earth. So we're still vulnerable to those. And then his own Best Boy card. And then Shift Form Naked. I actually did shift one turn, so I should have geared it, but um, whatever. Mostly in the base form. Uh, Runda is, oh, 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 big, very big deal. The whole party is death immune. That is for phase one. Everyone wants death immunity from gear. Technically, you don't have to have that. You can raise the dead units. That's going to make phase one a big headache. I recommend death immunity on the whole party. So Blizzard Orb for death immunity. Runda, backup unit for death immunity. Also, he's the passive provoker. Um... <clears throat> It's helpful to get 50 or better evasion. It's not required. He's so bulky. You don't even need evasion. But if you can gear 50 
plus we're getting accuracy down from Kaito. It helps. It's optional. So gear Runda and passive provoke death immunity. He wants status immunity as well because the boss does single target status and peril plus status effects. So status immunity um, and just bulk. I gave him the lightning fast legend. If you don't have that, you can use the new eye of the dragon materia. So we can chain extreme nova. He can also chain bolting strike naturally in his kit triple cast. And he's the provoker, and he does need EX3, so get his EX3 from the story. It's totally free. Um, and he maintains that excessively high, amazing, 85% general and physical mitt for the entire party. And because the phase, the Kairos phase, is pretty much all single target, um, as long as Chow never provokes, Runda is good. Runda eats all that physical, target, that physical damage like a boss. Sylvie is... Uh, oh, he's getting death immunity from backup unit. Sylvie, death immunity from the flag. Other than that, her gear is super irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I gave her Eye of the Dragon for the extreme Nova frames. If we needed it, we never did. Um, bulk. Just bulk and whatever. Uh, the, the only danger the team really has is the damage over time, as well as the uh, Lacuna Breath that both bypass cover. But um, with Runda's mitigation and, Chow's, and Chow or Sylvie's magic mitigation... The damage from the boss was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It totally was. Then Sylvie does tons of buffs. Tons of buffs. Uh, Wilk in the base form is getting death immunity from the knowing tag. If you don't have that, you know, the best you can. Uh, other than that, damage versus um, shift form, same thing. Damage versus dragons and demons. He's obviously, like, built for the fight. So, oh, he wasn't even maxed LB damage. I messed up his build. My bad. I could have improved it. I, whoops a daisy, his LB damage was, I can't, really? I thought, how? Wait a minute. Did I, I, I had, did I, did I steal his material? Son of a, that's what he should have been built as. All you need is that. My God, I messed it up. Well, whatever. It didn't matter. There it was. It was fine. There's Wilk. Um, Kaito, death immunity from Vermilion Flag. Do not give Kaito a Blizzard Orb. If Kaito has a Blizzard Orb, he will counter Dispel on the boss in the base form. Technically, we never used the base form, so it would have been... Blizzard Orb is okay in the shift form. Anyway, I gave him Guts and all. That's an old track. We didn't even need it. We, we, we take, like, no damage with Rondo on the party. So, yeah. LB damage and normal damage versus demons and dragons. And he's almost maxed on everything. And then Sylvie, or Esther. Um, death immunity from Blizzard Orb. And just LB damage versus the thing. We never used her shift form. So, maxed, maxed, and almost maxed. And, okay. There was the clear. Um, I don't have a turn chart because... Oh, by the way, in the in the, uh, in the the Kairos phase, phase 3, use Mirage um, for the, the Mirage attack. Um, Sylvie has Mirage. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't make a turn chart because it's kind of like... You can't really exactly make a turn chart, so I just, like, winged it. But yeah, just do your, do your damage rotation, set up for your burst in phase 1, and then just finish off the fight, preferably within 20 turns. Okay. See you next time.